This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola of Shimakinde. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus, we give you praise for your love. Thank you for that supernatural, that love that doesn't fade with time. Just lift up your hands and bless the name of the Lord. This is mercy moment. Father, we give you praise. We thank you. All the people watching and listening to us, maybe you're on your way to work, you're at work already, you're at home preparing to go to work. Just take this moment to thank God for His love, unfailing love. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His mercy. Thank Him. Thank Him for everything around you. Thank Him for your own life. Thank Him, Father. We give you praise. We worship you. Lord, we are so grateful for another privilege of coming together to share your word this morning. Thank you for opening our eyes to your word. I pray for everyone listening that they will have an encounter with you and with your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Mercy Moment this beautiful Monday morning. Hallelujah. The love of God. What a powerful topic. Now listen to me. There are foundations on which your Christianity must be laid upon. Otherwise, at times you might doubt certain things about God. One of the foundations, or the three of them, there are three things that you must, you must at all times give attention to. After you are born again, Christ is your foundation, is the rock. But remember, 2 Corinthians 13, verse 14, that's the last verse. Says, Paul was, he was rounding up the letter he wrote to the church at Corinth. Then he said these three things. He said the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Those three things 
We call them the benediction or we say them like that. But <laughs> listen, it's beyond something we say to close a meeting. It is what should be, what we should give attention to daily. But we are looking at one of them this morning. The love of God. It is impossible to live a successful Christian life without understanding the love of God. Hallelujah. You see, condemning yourself and beating yourself, beating yourself and, and, and fretting over the mistakes you have made and then fusing around about it is not what puts you over it. It is understanding the Father, the Father loves you. <laughs> As Jesus was talking to the disciples and he was preparing to exit the scene, in John 16, verse 18, they, they were always hearing him talking about the Father, the Father, the Father. So much to the point that even one day Philip said, show us the Father and it will be enough. And Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Then one day he told them, he said the Father himself loved you. I'm sure it was straight to the disciples because Jesus talked about the Father loving him. But for the first time, he included them in the package. He said the Father loves you. Wow. You mean the one they call the almighty, all-sufficient, all-powerful, the consuming fire. He loves me. Now I'm telling you what the Lord said. God loves you. At times, what takes you out of your errors and mistakes? And this message might be meeting somebody in the backsliding states. Because of the blunders you have committed and mistakes you have made, you are it's never too late for the love of God. Jesus gave a parable to give us a little uh, incline just to let us know a bit about the love of God. He gave us the story of the prodigal son. That's what we call them. The boy that wandered away from the house, squandered the father's resources, and he came back to want to be taken as a servant. That was the bargain with which he came. I mean, he was like, just accept me. But he was shocked. The father did not let him finish what he was saying. He hugged him and brought him into the house. Jesus said that to begin to show us about the love of God. See, God is not a man. Why do I perceive that somebody is watching me this morning with very, very, a very terrible record? Well, you see, there is no record that the blood of Jesus Christ cannot wipe off. That is the reason for the blood. That is the reason for the death of the righteous and the just one. That he might be able to save all from the unbelieving world into the world of faith. But now, even in the world of faith, when errors are committed and mistakes are made and we genuinely repent, the Lord is willing. He can actually correct all mistakes in his love. That's why I'm bringing this message to you today. The love of God. The Bible says it's shared and brought in our heart by the Holy Spirit. The love of God. That is what Jesus has brought to us. God loves you. See, you will never be able to pray confidently if you don't believe that God loves you. What gives us audacity to ask in the place of prayer? What makes us to know that when we ask the Father, we answer? What gives us confidence walking to the valley of shadow of death is that we know that we are loved by somebody whose love does not fail. This morning, let this be your meditation all through the week that the Father loves me. Even me, yes, even you. Even you, the gossip. Even the Father loves That is how we even come out of that attitude and begin to live right as a Christian. He loves you. Somebody, because you are down, because our oh, things have not been going your way. Are you beginning to doubt the love of God? Never do. Never do that. He loves you. He cares about you. This is the message for this week. Whatever you are going to do, whatever you are going to get involved with, do it from the perspective of the Father, with the perspective of the Father. God loves you. He does. This is a very beautiful morning. Till I come your way again next Monday, this is mercy moment on a beautiful Monday morning. Remember, God is good and his mercy endures forever. I'm Shalom Shumaki Day. 
God loves you, even you. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us on Mercy Moments today. To watch previous episodes of Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola, please follow us on all our social media platforms. God bless you.